All right, I am back once again for a series I have not done in a, in a while here, and uh, that is Crash Bandicoot Warp, a game that was originally released for the Sony PlayStation back in 1998, <clears throat> and is actually scheduled to have a worldwide release on the uh, PlayStation 4 uh, uh, for next year. Uh, I'm guessing it would probably be a remastered edition, but anyway, uh, it... <sighs> anyway, this game takes place right after the events of the previous game in the series, which was Crash Bandicoot 2, Cortex Strikes Back. Now, the ruins of a space station called the Cortex Vortex are owned by Dr. the antagonist of the series, which is Dr. Neo Cortex, who crash lands on Earth and unleashes an, unleashes an evil entity known as Uka Uka, the evil twin brother of Aku Aku. Uh, who ends up joining Cortex, as well as the, so as Dr. Nefarious Trophy. Together they plan to get powerful crystals in their original places in time and use the, their energy to leave the Earth. Uh, Crash and Coco are the main characters, and they travel through time and prevent the village from gathering the crystals by collecting them themselves in this one. And this is a platformer, and what you have to do is you have to go back in time and get the, uh, 25 crystals from the last game in their original places in time before the antagonists do. Now you start off with 5 lives. You lose a life when you get stuck by an enemy attack or suffer any other type of damage. However, you can earn more lives by getting 100 Wumpa Fruits. Every 100 Wumpa Fruit pieces of Wumpa Fruit you get are equivalent to uh, get you an extra life. Because similar to uh, the old school Mario uh, games where every hundred coin where you would get a free life for every hundred coins you collect if you use up all your lives and the game's over but you do have the option to continue now boxes play a big role in this game and can be broken with uh, all of Crash's techniques now the boxes have helpful items can either have helpful items or can uh, augment Crash's mobility now the checkpoint boxes are helpful because if you lose a life, you can continue this. You can start the stage over from the checkpoint box. The TNT boxes explode after a three-second fuse when they're jumped on. The nitro box, on the other hand, explodes upon any physical contact at all. And all the nitro boxes in the level can be detonated at once if a green-colored box with an exclamation point on it is touched. The contact with this box is necessary in obtaining the level's gem, as the nitro boxes count towards the total number of boxes broken in the level. <clears throat> you can also get gems and colored gems for extra accomplishment. Now, gems are given to you if all the crates in the level are broken open or if you complete a secret area. There's a total of 45 gems in the game. Colored gems are found in special levels and lead you to hidden areas. There's five different colored gems. You can earn relics by re-entering a level where crystals have already been collected. To get a relic, you have to initiate the time trial mode by touching the floating stopwatch near the start of the level and then go through the level in a preset amount of time in the pre-designated time it's displayed before entering a level. Now, throughout the level there are yellow crates with the numbers 1, 2, and 3 on them. When you break these crates, the timer is frozen for that number of seconds. As you don't lose lives in time trial mode, the level you can replay the level as often as you want. And the relic you get depends on how your time is. The first five relics you get unlock access to an area in a secret warp room. And every five relics after that opens up another level. You have to open up, up the levels in the secret warp room before the game can be completed. And and overall, this is a pretty good game, and uh, I know uh, Great by 789 is a huge fan of the Crash Bandicoot series, and uh, and I have played this game. It's not too bad, 
And, uh, yeah, I would highly recommend getting this game if you're a fan of Sonic the Hedgehog. And that is going to be it for this episode of Video Game Reviews. Next time around, we will be covering Mario Kart Double Dash on the Nintendo GameCube. So I will see you for that review.